Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the memorial of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe near Mexico City is one of the most celebrated places of pilgrimages in North America. On December 9, 1531, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to an Indian convert, Juan Diego, and left with him a picture of herself impressed upon his cloak. Devotion to Mary under this title has continually increased, and today she is the patroness of Americas. Because of the close link between the church in Mexico and the church in the United States. This feast was also celebrated in the United States and then placed on the calendar for the dioceses of the United States. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. <clears throat> come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Come, come let, let us worship, worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Mary. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ the, the Son of Mary. Mary. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in the hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, the, the Son of, of Mary. Mary. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ, the Son of Mary. Mary. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, There are people whose hearts go stray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not, not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of Mary. Please be seated. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, the Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your ears, O God of shoes. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts, 
is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God, I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord, of, Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain, and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their sword into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not praise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing to the Lord, and bless his name. All sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. All sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his health day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens, his are majesty and state and power, and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord your families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple, O earth tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm it is place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, who place your people under the singular protection of your Son's Most Holy Mother, grant that all who invoke the Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith the progress of peoples in the ways of justice and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord, for he steers forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God, 
the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. Please stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origins? They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. Sisters and brothers, dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. Sa ating buhay, uh, makikita natin it is obvious that people always ask for our credentials. Kagaya rin ng mga fariseyo, they consider themselves as the authority. Kaya nga tinanong nila ang Panginoon kung bakit niya ginagawa yung kanya mga ginagawang uh, kababalaghan or milagro or great works healing people uh, making the blind see feeding the multitude uh, raising the dead for these authorities so-called authorities at that time it was not enough proof that something is unique about the Lord hindi na nga kailangan ang kanyang mga credentials even in our modern times Kapag ka ikaw ay magdodoktor, ka ikaw ay magiging inhinyero, magiging nurse, kailangan mong mag-aral ng mahabang panahon to develop your skills. At hindi lamang ang pag-aaral sa kolehiyo, kailangan pa makapasa sa board. And it's not even enough to pass the board. Kailangan mo at least one year experience para ikaw ay makapag-abroad at makapag-trabaho. In other words, uh, kailangan talaga yon, lalong-lalo kung ikaw magiging doktor. Alam nga namang pupunta ka sa isang pipitsuging doktor, hindi po ba? Buhay natin yon. Kaya kailangan din natin makita saan ba nag-aral yung doktor na yan, saan ba nag-aral yung ekspertong yan. Kahit nga ako kami mga pari, ay meron din kami dinadaan ng formation, medyo matagal din, at least nine years, in order for us to develop the skills that we need in our ministry. At ganun din, perhaps sa inyong mga professional careers, it is important that we have credentials. But in this case, alam ng mga fariseyo, kaya lang ayaw nilang maniwala. Yun ang problema. There is a gap between what they know and what they believe in. Kaya nga, sabi nila, hindi namin alam kung saan ang galing ang, ang kapangyarihan ni John the Baptist. Alam naman nila, di ba, sinabi nila, we do not know. 
but they know that it is from heavenly origins. Now, in our own Christian life, maaaring sabihin natin, o di ba tayo mga katoliko? Ginagawa ba natin yung mga gawain ng mga katoliko? Meron tayong reality in our church na kapag ka ikaw daw ay nabaptismahan na, you already received the sacrament of baptism, pero medyo short ang ating performance as far as uh, works of charity perhaps are concerned, eh nagkakaroon tuloy ng uh, confusion ang mga non-believers or non-Catholics. Akala ko ba, katoliko yan. Akala ko ba, nabaptize na siya. Pero, hindi naman ganun ang ugali niya. Hindi tugma ang kanyang ugali. So, nasa yung authority niya to, be, to say that I am a Christian, I am a Catholic. And I think that is the challenge for all of us to la sa akin, hanggang doon, sa dulong uh, tao. We have to keep trying to do what Jesus did. Hindi naman yung mga milagro, kundi to be true to our name. Remember, when we were baptized, diba, Kristiyano na tayo. And sometimes, even our names speak of our being close to Jesus. Ang iba nga sa atin, diba, kanilang devotion, kanilang private devotion. Nanay ko, ang mahal na birhen ng Rosario ng Manawa. Kapatid ko si Jesus. Talaga? So, titignan ng mga tao, tama ba ang ating inaasal? Kapatid nga ba? Kawangis nga ba tayo ng, ng ating Panginoon sa ating mga ginagawa? Ganon din ba ang ating mga ginagawa? Katulad rin ba ng ating sinasabing nanay natin, si Apo Bakit? Baka hindi. Now, it is the time for us. This is an opportunity for us in this Advent season na make it narrow yung ating reality at yung ating expectations sa pagiging tunay na katoliko at kristyano. Now, stand to offer our prayers and petitions. <clears throat> In prayer, we now approach God the Father who has power and authority over all things and unload the burden that weighs us down. For each intention, we are going to say, Father Almighty, hear us. Father Almighty, hear us, that those who exercise authority in the church may be filled with gentleness, humility, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us, that those who are in authority may be guided in making decisions by wisdom based on love, justice, and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us, that parents may, by their authority in the home, seek more to love and be loved than to create an atmosphere of repression and fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. That the sick may find healing and consolation through God's word and the sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those who, whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers in ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. That the dead may be brought safely home in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father Almighty, hear us. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness 
We have received the bread we owe for you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we present to you on this feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and grant that this sacrifice may strengthen us to fulfill your commandments as true children of the Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid and gave us through her the author of our salvation your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Him, the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Pinagpalang na parito sa mga ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kalitasan. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kalitasan. Please kneel. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The Mystery of Faith Sa krus mo at pagkabuhay Kami na tubos mong tunay O Jesus, namin mahal Iligtas mo kami tanan O Jesus, namin mahal, ngayon at magpakailanman. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Sa inyo pong lahat, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Eve shut all her children out of paradise. The Virgin Mary opened wide his gates. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eve shut all her children out of paradise. The Virgin Mary opened wide its gates. Let us pray. Lord God, may the body and blood of your Son, which we receive in this sacrament, reconcile us always in your love. And may we, who rejoice in Our Lady of Guadalupe, live united and at peace in this world until the day the, of the Lord dawns in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, brothers and sisters, thank you very much for joining us in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Continue, please, to pray, pray, pray for us and the work that has been given to us here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa din po kayo na kami ay lagi rin uh, nananalangin para sa inyong mga petisyon at sa inyong mga intentions. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. And later, afterwards, we will also bless your rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health in accordance with your will. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed. And for those who will use them, be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.